Hi, it's me, Tony. I want a break from my binge watching because I am a binge watcher and when I start something I gotta finish it right after another. I'm almost done with season 3 of Lucifer and I just started it about three days ago. So I'm pausing and doing this video. So let's get right into it. We're gonna play more Harry Potter. Intro. I don't even remember where we left off, so let's just see what's glowing. Okay. Okay. I guess we're leaving? Can't really look at anything else, so I guess. <gasps> You're Tony Hayama, right? Yes, who are you? Ben Cooper, I'm a first year like you. I just wanted to say thank you for standing up to Marula Snide. Who told you I did that? I was watching from the end of the corridor. I've been following her so she can't sneak up on me. And if she sees me, I'll at least have a chance to run away. <laughs> That's a good choice. She tormented me the entire way here on the Hogwarts Express. She kept threatening me and calling me a mudblood. Censor that word. I'm sorry, Ben. That's terrible. Marula is obsessed with being the best witch in our, in our year. And she thinks she has to impose her will on us to prove it. I'm just glad someone was brave enough to stand up to her. I'm certainly not. It's a joke that I got put in Gryffindor. It's okay, so was Neville. He got there. Everyone is afraid of something, Ben. Unfortunately, I'm afraid of everything. That's me. I come from a muggle family, so all of this is new and scary to me. I know how you feel. I come from a wizard family, and this is hard for me, too. I'll try to help you however I can, Ben. Thanks, Tony. I'll see you around. Can we just go wherever? Look. Was that supposed to be Dobby? Oh, there's me. Can I talk to these people? Nope. Jane. I guess that's Jane. Wait, do we mean Jane? I don't even remember. You already... How do I do her voice? You already lost Hufflepuff 10 house points? We're in fourth place now. What happened? Dude, I gave you those 10 points, so... Don't tell me anything. Oh. Rank. Here's where you can keep track of the race for your house cup. At the end of the year, the house with the most house points gets the house cup. I got that. Here's Hufflepuff. You're in f Hufflepuff. You're in fourth place. Okay. Of course, Gryffindor's in first place. Okay. Am I still talking to Jane? Oh. I'm sorry, but who are you and why are you talking to me about house points? I'm your prefect, Jane Court. I always thought it said perfect and not prefect. So, I just learned that not that long ago. Because I didn't, I don't know how to read. It's a prefect's job to keep order in the house and help first years like you with their problems. Considering what your brother did to Hufflepuff's reputation, I should have kept a closer eye on you. It wasn't my fault. I'm sorry. I'm not my brother. I'm not my brother. I know my brother broke school rules 
and damage Hufflepuff's reputation, but I want but I want to be a credit to our house. We all make mistakes, Tony. Of course, we all don't make mis mistakes that cost Hufflepuff's 10 house points. What the heck? That's so rude. In any case, Professor Snape already sent you a letter directly to our common room. Why wouldn't he send it to me? Probably because he despises you. Like everyone. Snape hates everyone. Ha! Huh. So I wouldn't take it personally, but I would read that letter immediately. Hayama, I have discovered evidence that your potion may have indeed been tampered with. Well, yeah. While it does not prove you're innocent, it does cast some doubt on my belief that you are hopelessly incompetent. Bring me a jar of pickled slugs from the potion storeroom and I will consider restoring your house points. Sneak. There are directions to the potion storeroom at the bottom of the letter. Want me to go with you, Tony? It's a, the least I can do after you save me from Marula. Sure, why not? Thanks, Rowan. You know your way around the castle much better than me. Oh. He's offering to give us... He's offering to give us back the ten house points you lost? Hurry to the potion storeroom before he changes his mind. Don't tell me what to do. Go help Snape get those house points back for us. Collect slugs. The directions on Snape's letter say this is the potion storeroom. I always thought it was located in the tapestry corridor. I suppose there must be more than one. I need to find a jar of pickled slugs and bring them to Snape so I can get those ten house points back. It wasn't really Snape who sent the letter. I can't see a thing. It's a trap! Why did you close the door, Rowan? She's gonna say I didn't watch. Ah, I knew it. I didn't. It closed behind me as as soon as I stepped inside. And I think it's locked. You should cast the wand lighting charm to help us see. You learned the same thing as me. Dang, that was pretty perfect. Did you see that? Lumos! It just looks like a tree trunk. Am I supposed to click the screen? Oh. What is that thing? Marula. A deadly plant called Devil Snare. Some fourth year Slytherins showed it to me when I first arrived. It's sensitive to light. If you're really better at the wand lighting chop than me, escaping should be no problem. Marilla, you locked us in here? Along, along with sending you a fake letter from Snape. I told you things would only get worse for you, Hayama. See, this is the... Sad thing about being a movie and TV person, I pretty much saw all this coming already. Something has to stop you from ruining Hogwarts. It may as well be Devil's Snare. Dude, she should get expelled for this. What the heck? Can you die in this game? Ah! Tony! We have to get out of here. Marula is right about Devil's Snare being sensitive to light. Use, use Lumos to hold it off while I try to open the door and call for help. Help! We're trapped in here with Devil's Snare! Someone help! Escape the Devil's Snare. You can't leave the room until you complete the activity. What am I supposed to do? Oh, click on it. 
Fend off. Oh, if you're in there, don't worry. You can either buy more or wait for it to re fend off. I didn't read the first thing that came up, so let's do it. Lumos! It worked! Oh no, there are so many of them! Pick Lumos. Dang, I'm getting these pretty perfect. Lumos! I've got to get out of here. Help someone, please! Ooh. Lumos! Oh. Keep it up, Tony! Oh. Keep it up, Tony! I think I hear someone! It'd be great if it was Snape. Brilliant! What's going on in there? Out of the way! A uh, Hagrid, maybe? I knew it. Gulpin Guy Roy Lose Hufflepuff. Get away! Get away from the devil's snare! You're scaring it! I don't know how, how to make Hagrid's voice. I'm scaring it. Let's get you out of here. I don't think I can even get close to Hagrid's voice. You saved my life. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Rubius Hagrid. At your service. I'm keeper of keys and grounds at Hogwarts. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Tony Hayama. Ah, you, you're the one everybody's been talking about. Maybe trouble really does run in your family. <sighs> How'd you end up in there, Tony? Where's Rowan? A, a first year Slytherin named Marula Snide locked us in. Side. She did? What are you going to do? Tell Dumbledore, tell my classmates, get revenge? Tell Dumbledore? Sounds like me. I'm going to tell Professor Dumbledore and make sure she's punished. Do you have any proof? Ah, oh, dang. I have a fake letter from Snape, but I can't prove she's the one who wrote it. Professor Dumbledore wouldn't want you ha to help you, even, but even he can do anything if you don't have proof. Would want that. Did I say would want you? I'd head back to your common room and take some time to think, Tony. I don't want you doing something yet for regret. You might also want to do something about those robes. That devil snake got you good. Thanks, Hagrid. Hopefully I'll see you again. Yeah. <sighs> yes, certainly will, Tony. But for now, you'd better get back to your common room. Why can't I do his voice? Oh, wait. Oh, I can just click. Oh, okay. I didn't know I could just click on that and then I'll get there. Whatever. Anything else? I see. These same people are just standing there in the same place. There's Jane. Bloody hell! What happened to your robes? I got snared by Devil Snare. Devil Snare? How? What happened with Professor Snape? It was a trick. Marula Snide faked that note and trapped me in the room with Devil Snare. Where is Rowan? What is it with you and this girl? I think she's threatened by me and I think she hates that I'm the only first year who stood up to her. And I take it you once again don't have any proof. I have the fake letter from Snape but I can't prove she's the one who wrote it. Well, you can't go around the castle like that. Professor Sprout will have a fit. People already look at you like you're mad because of your brother. Go and change into fresh robes, or better yet, pick something to wear outside class hours. 
Why don't you put on a new outfit? Are you saying you want me to buy some clothes? Pick on your clothes and tab done when you're ready. Okay, is this gonna cost money? Well, I am in rags. Shirt, ooh, these look expensive. What you mean? I'm perfectly fine now. Ew, this looks kind of ugly. Do I have shoes? Those shoes are orange. I guess. Let's see how you look. I look fine, I guess. Wow, that's much better. Now you don't look like someone used you to practice this severing charm. Severing charm? Severing? Severing? Thanks, but I'm mainly just happy to be alive. Well, you'd better hurry to your first flying class. Flying class before you're expelled. See if you can find a way to earn back house points while you're there. Was talking about flying and that it's like kind of stupid, I guess. What the heck? A dog! Is that Hagrid's dog? That was so cute. Did I even finish my sentence? Someone on YouTube was saying flying is like stupid or like all you have to do is click on something and then watch the actions happen. Ten flying class. Welcome to your first flying class. I will be your instructor, Madam Hooch. You'll begin by observing before learning to summon your broom in your next flying class. Now I want a clean match from all of you. Let the games begin. Well, what are you waiting for? Everyone, step up to the left side of your broomsticks. I've been dreading this class all summer. You're afraid of heights? Falling from heights mostly. I told you I come from a muggle family. The idea of flying through the sky on a broom is terrifying. I believe it. Blah, 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 blah. Believe it or not, I've never flown on a broom either. My mom was pretty strict about us using magic outside of school. I don't think I can do this, Tony. You can do it, Ben. Just watch me, Ben. I would say you can do it. You can do this, Ben. Just concentrate on the broom and try not to think about falling. <laughs> Good advice. Do you promise to catch me if I fall? I promise to try my best. That's what you're saying. That's not very reassuring, but I suppose I have to try sooner or later. Even you don't... Oh, wait. Even you don't have anything to fear from today's lesson. Mr. Cooper, you will only be observing today. Well, see, there you go. So I'm assuming he, Ben, is like the Neville in this class. And the Marula is like Malfoy. And uh, I guess Rowan would be like Ron. But I don't know who would... Well, actually, Rowan might be Hermione. And maybe I haven't met a Ron. Maybe there won't be, a, like, a Ron. We'll just, whatever, keep going. Unlock Summon Broom Stick Lesson. Get one star in the class to unlock the Summon Broom Stick Lesson. Start. Okay. After this, we'll be done. Demonstration. Listen up, everyone. I'm going to demonstrate proper broomstick techniques. That is actually wonder. Who was the first person who decided the broomstick was a good idea to ride? You'd think Marula would care more about her safety than... I didn't read that word. You better pay attention if you want to survive the year without a broken bone. 
keep your feet free of your robes or you will surely fall on to your death. Do not lean to... They just go away really quickly. How do you expect me to learn? Choose your reward. What does a book do? What is that? Oh, wait, I have less of that, so I guess I can get that. But I can use more coins. I'll just use this one. I don't know what that does. Explain. You'll likely, you'll likely take a painful tumble if you don't lose focus. If you lose focus for every, for even a second. Pay attention to me. Focus. Brilliant! <gasps> ah! Who do puff? Lecture. Are we gonna do this again? Hmm. Listen up, boys and girls. I'm going to explain several important bits of information to you. Discuss sunlight. Do not look directly at the sun while you're flying or you will surely fall to your death. What is it all about death? Listen. I heard it. How am I supposed to... Hearts? Books? Or coins? That's a little bit of coins, so I'll go with hearts. Now let's see if you've been paying attention. Who can answer this question? Has distinct yellow what? Madam Hooch has distinct yellow what? What do you mean, yellow what? How am I supposed to know? Well, she doesn't... Well, I guess because the other two, two are not them. By process of elimination, it should be eyes. And I guess they show that in the very first thing in the, in the movie. It, her. Whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Why does it say house cut? Could I have clicked on House Cup? What would I have done? I, s I suppose I don't have to worry about falling if I, if I never actually fly. <laughs> Thank you for helping me, Tony. I may be able to fly soon if I keep following your lead. That's not what I said, but okay. I think you've chosen a fine tutor, Mr. Cooper. Miss Hayama, you appear to have an, a knack for... Helping your class may overcome their fears. An act? I always thought it was an act. Like act, not an act. I didn't know that was a word. Ten points to Hufflepuff. You just need to be get used to the idea of flying, Ben. I'm sure Rowan has some books about flying that we can borrow. I do like reading books hard- oh wait. I do like reading books. Hardly anyone ever falls to their death while reading books. Uh, I've been meaning to talk to Rowan anyway. We've had a rough- we've had a rough go of it so far and I think she takes it harder than me. You should ask her to play gobstones. I'd play myself, but I'm afraid of getting sprayed. What's gobstones? If you like this video, you can go ahead and do that. If you want to see more videos like this, you can subscribe to my channel, but I'm not going to force you because I'm a Hufflepuff. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both of those links are in the description. I think that's it. Okay, bye.